Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a peek into your romantic love life for the rest of February 2028. I'm gonna be pulling a nine card spread, see who comes through your reading today with romantic intentions towards you, find out how they truly feel about you deep down, get their true intentions with you, and find out what their next actions are gonna to be towards you this week. But Virgo, if you're in a recent no contact situation where you and your person haven't spoken much in the last few days, up to a couple of weeks or so, and you're really curious about how they feel while you guys aren't talking, I will pull a hidden message at the end of the read to find out how they feel about the whole situation, what they plan to do about it. But for everyone else, let's begin. I just opened up the deck to the Eight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Some of you Virgos may have recently turned your back on somebody in order to pursue something more stable with somebody brand new or that's what you're making plans to do is someone doesn't offer you a relationship very soon. For other Virgos, I do feel like the love department has left you feeling emotionally drained, emotionally exhausted, but something is happening around this new moon in Pisces that's making you feel a little bit more optimistic, a little bit more, you know, clear on what is heading towards you very soon, okay? We will see if those cards come back out. Spirit, what do we have for Virgo today in their romantic love life for the end of February 2023? Cannot believe we're almost in March. Who's coming through Virgo's reading with romantic intentions towards Virgo? How do they truly feel about Virgo deep down inside? What's the situation surrounding their connection and anything else you would like to share with them? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for my vivacious Virgos. First card out for you is the Ace of Swords, so you're getting a bunch of clarity this week. The rest of February is going to be filled with a lot of information that you were missing beforehand, right? Whether you had to do your own digging, as you are known as the investigator of the Zodiac world, the private eye, or someone's coming to you with this clarity, okay? You're gonna have some truth this week. And there's also someone that's going to be talking to you this week that you may feel like has a bit of a sharp tongue or you feel like you're going to have a sharp tongue with them. Like you're not going to hold back saying anything that you want to say. The Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is all about partnerships. The Four of Wands is all about stable commitments, coming together with friends and family and just feeling a lot of support around you. Page of Pentacles. Remember how I opened up the deck to the Eight of Cups, to the Ace of Pentacles during the pre-shuffle? You have that pentacle heading towards you, whether it's from someone that you already know or some of you Virgos may have to turn your back on something or someone in order to get what you're really looking for in a relationship. But it's here for you. You're at the energetic frequency around this time to get yourself in a very beautiful, stable relationship if you want it. Some of you guys could be connecting to a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. There could be an apology coming in for some of you or someone finally telling the truth about something. Maybe somebody you're connecting to has been holding back the truth, just leaving so many things unspoken or leaving so many things left for you to figure out on your own and now they're coming in to speak, okay? I'll know more once I start clarifying. The Knight of Cups. So what this person wants to say to you, Virgo, is that they have a romantic love for you. They want to be expressive to you this week. The Knight of Cups is somebody that, you know, is a little bit fleeting in their emotions. So this could be someone that you don't quite trust with your heart just yet because there's something that's telling you that they are maybe a playboy, you know, or playgirl, someone that chases that romantic high you get in the early stages of falling in love with somebody, but then when it involves an actual stable relationship or putting in the work and rolling up your sleeves to make an effort, that's when this person is, oops, never mind, um, sorry, I changed my mind, you know, and takes off, right? So you're wanting to know if this person is that type of person so you can make a decision that you know is for your, your highest good. Right? I feel like you're giving someone a chance to speak to you this week and let you know what their intentions are before you make any final decisions to turn your back on somebody as we saw that Eight of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. So you're about to get some really important information this week that might shock you, Virgo. I mean, look at your facial expression. This is you reading that message that this person's sending you and being like, whoa. 
I was not expecting it. You know, whether it's a good whoa or a, I knew it whoa. You're, you're going to be shocked about something, Virgo. This person is coming in with that sword and you look like you're batting up with your own sword to say something that you want to say in return. So it, it could be one of those heart-to-heart -heart conversations where nobody holds back, says it all says everything that both parties have been wanting to say to each other. There could be an age difference here. I'm getting that this person may be a bit older than you. Just a bit, nothing like substantial, but a bit older. Or that's reverse for somebody. Aw, the Two of Cups. Every time I see this card, it makes me want to go aw. Um, there's somebody coming toward you that is going to want to offer you a beautiful relationship. It's going to be up to you, Virgo, to decide if it's this person that you're getting communication from, finally upping the relationship to something more secure, or if this is you finding out the information you need to find out to make that important decision to turn you back on somebody in the hopes of finding a new somebody. All right, but you're at the energetic frequency of a relationship. I keep getting that for you. I saw it with the Four of Wands, and now I'm seeing it with the Two of Cups. You're meant to have somebody. Okay, anybody that is looking for a, re a relationship knows innately that they're meant to be with somebody. Because I've had people come to me for readings and they're like, Badison, please do a career reading. I don't want anything about love to show up in my reading. I'm content with being single and being forever with my dogs. And those are the people that know innately that they're not meant to find somebody. That's not their life purpose in this lifetime. Okay, but if you feel innately that there's someone special out there for you, that's your higher self saying Virgo is because there is. Whether you have to still continue to find this person or they're coming to you. And it doesn't mean your life purpose is to find love. No, I didn't mean it like that. It just means that someone is a part of your, your, your path to share this life with you to go through the ups and downs with you, to put in the work with you. And anyone that is very fleeting in their feelings isn't someone that you want around your corner when times get tough and you need someone to really back you up. So if someone in your life has the tendency to, you know, take off when shit hits the fan, maybe that's someone that you do need to walk away from and not find it in yourself to want to fix that relationship because that's what Virgos like to do. You guys are really dedicated to the people you, you connect with. You're really loyal friends, lovers, and partners. Um, but if this is someone that hasn't abandoned you or you don't feel like you have to worry, you may be finding out how much this person really truly loves you. And that information is enough for you to bring yourselves closer to one another. Okay? The Tower, Scorpio energy. So, like I said earlier, Whatever this message is that's coming in is going to surprise somebody where their facial expression is gonna match this card. All right, something you're not expecting, Virgo. Okay, I will clarify to find out if this is a good tower or a not so good tower because towers don't always have to be bad. Personally, I, I like towers because it just means that universe is doing their due diligence to you know, shake things up that don't belong in my life anymore to get me on the path of what is on, you know, meant for me. If I'm stalling because I don't know all the answers in regards to a situation, but my spirit team knows those answers, they will shake up my, my foundation with somebody to let me see things a little bit more clearly instead of wearing a rose tinted glasses. You know, love can blind us. Love can seriously blind most of us. Okay. If someone looks good in a pair of, you know, uh, jeans, that could blind us too. That's temperance is the outcome. Who else got temperance as the outcome? Was it Capricorn? Yeah, it was Capricorn. Some of you guys could be connecting with a Capricorn. But anywho, I feel like something is going to bring a lot of peace to your life or go. Because the temperance card is all about restoring balance um it's it's you know coming together with somebody you know to find a peaceful resolution to something or to work together as a team and compromise because temperance is also about compromising you know i'll do my part and you know you do your part and we can compromise on other areas that we don't agree on you know making it work and that's what relationships are all about compromising if you got to pick dinner on Friday night, then you gotta let your person pick dinner on Saturday night. Compromise. Can't always have it someone else's way. What's your advice? The lovers. Making a choice from the heart. 
If this person really makes your heart go boom, boom, boom in the best way possible, and there's gonna be a few bad days, but more good days than not, make a choice from your heart, Virgo. But if this person makes your heart go Ugh, like you're always going through a freaking panic attack, you know what you, mean, you might need to do, okay? Just know that if you're feeling like you're meant to have someone in your life, that feeling is legit. It's valid. But sometimes we may be eyeballing the wrong one because we're in that search for that love companion. Okay? Whoever will be for you will never have you second guess their love. What's the overall energy? The Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So there is a lot of desire that somebody has for you, Virgo. And some of you Virgos may be born closer to Leo season. So you might have a little bit of Leo in your tank where you are very confident, you're very outgoing, you're, you've got a great personality, but you're also very stable in the sense that you don't move too quickly. Because sometimes the Queen of Wands can move rather quickly and get themselves into relationships because of passion and desire and then once getting in a relationship realizing that someone is not really that good for them once that passion subsides because it will you know that early stage of you know just wanting to rip each other's jeans off does wear off and eventually you have to look at your person and be like do I still want to look at you for the next 50 years do we get along are we best friends you know Things like that. So I'm gonna clarify. Please clarify that Ace of Swords and then I open up to the Hierophant and the Fool. All right, so someone may need to take a chance on a commitment. And for some of you Virgos, there is a huge lesson involved with you and a specific person. Because I do see the Hierophant as lessons, as a teacher. And then I got the Page of Swords in the beating heart of the spread. And the Page of Swords to me can also be my student. Someone needing more information, needing to learn about a person's motives, intentions, and what really makes your heart tick. Okay? I freaking love Virgos. You guys are just like always fun to be around you, you guys are you're you're that friend that always remembers birthdays you're that that person that's like always a good listener to other people and you deserve it too clarify that ace of swords clarify that ace of swords clarify that ace of swords judgment scorpio energy so this information that comes in for you is going to lead to somebody having all the answers that they need to make a final judgment call. Do I get to this or do I walk away? Okay, some of you guys may be trying to reconcile with somebody from your past and you're trying to figure out what's best for you because you may have felt like this person did things to you, you never thought a romantic loved one would ever do. Because I do have the Queen of Swords here, and the Queen of Swords usually comes in as my reading in my readings as a divorced woman, or a widower, or someone that's been beaten down when it comes to the partnership she's gotten involved with, and now she's more rational and more, you know, uses her discernment more before getting into relationships. But I have this person feeling mighty bored in their love life right now and yearning for some some excitement. You could have Cancer in your chart. Clarify that Four of Wands to the Page of Pentacles, please, for Virgo's reading. Would you please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl Virgo. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. However, I'm closed on private readings until the first week of March. Clarify that Four of Wands to the Page of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. There's that, that clarity. That Ace of Swords is what I have right here. Are we going to build this or are we going to abandon this and I build it elsewhere? And then there's the death card on the bottom. Scorpio energy again. Some of you guys definitely have some Scorpio in your chart. I've got Leo energy and Scorpio coming through for some, some of you that's, you know, looking at your birth chart. Um, but I'm looking at this death card and I'm looking at this nine of swords. And if you look closely at this death card, Virgo, it's got nine ghost kitties. So I'm getting repeated nines. So some of you guys could be in your personal year of number nine where you're needing to wrap things up, close out repeating cycles in order to start a new. Okay. I've been getting that a lot for people lately. Clarify that Knight of Cups. Please clarify that Knight of Cups for this person coming towards Virgo. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
the Ace of Cups. This is someone that wants to uh, be with you. They may have been a bit indecisive or they were ignoring the truth of a situation, but they're making a choice with that lover's card. Major for Gemini. You're getting a lot of repeated cards. Some of you guys may be trying to smooth things over with somebody that, you know, irritated you or there was a fight. Yeah, look at that. Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is misunderstandings, it's petty arguments, it's everyone fighting to get the last word, going for the juggler, saying things that you would not normally say if tensions weren't so high. And you guys may have had like an intense dynamic together and someone needed time to balance their emotions, learn how to regulate their emotions so that way you guys could come together and everything would be able to be a little bit more peaceful. Okay. Clarify that Page of Swords, Two of Cups. Please clarify that Page of Swords, Two of Cups. Please clarify that Page of Swords, Two of Cups. Page of Swords, Two of Cups. Eight of Swords. I'm strongly getting that someone may be attempting to sabotage this by getting in their own way, getting in their own head. Okay, the Fool and the King of Wands could be a Leo or an Aries. It's like someone runs away from good things when things feel too comfortable. Like someone is more comfortable with chaos, maybe because of, the, of that environment they grew up in. Clarify that Tower with the Temperance card. It's like whatever sudden change this is, it's got a peaceful outcome. What is this Tower to the Temperance card? What is this? Yeah, look at that. Five of Wands, Leo energy. There could be some sort of disruption with you and another person that leads someone to feel like there's a missed opportunity or someone's feeling rejected or someone's feeling like they can't trust another person when their back is turned. As you can see, someone's back is turned and this cat is stealing his rat that he earned. You know, it's like the moment I turn my back, you're doing that. Or the moment I turn my back around, you're talking to so-and-so at your job. The moment I turn my back, I feel like I can't trust you. It feels like someone's having trouble trusting somebody here. Clarify that lo uh, the, the lover's card as Virgo's advice. Clarify that lover's card as Virgo's advice. King of Swords, make a, make a decision using your head and then your heart. Because I do feel like some of you Virgos have your heart on an ice snowy branch because you don't want to get hurt again. So you're protecting your heart for the right person. And you, you are waiting for the right person to warm up that heart chakra to give you the love that you deserve. So you got to understand, you got to ask yourself, is this person enough to warm up your heart? Or is this someone that you need to walk away from to find someone else? The choice is yours, but there's the two of cups. That might be two different connections coming through. All right, because I got the Lover's card, lovers, or Two of Cups. I got the Two of Cups and I got the Lover's card. This reading is basically saying, Virgo, you do not have to settle. You don't have to take back, you know, sloppy seconds. You don't have to take back an ex. You don't have to take back anybody that treats you badly. If someone's treating you good, but you guys just fell on hard times, reassess the situation, okay? Just protect yourself. The land won't hurt you. All right, your hidden message is... I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. Yeah, some of you Virgos, this person just up and abandoned you, whether recently or not recently, and they've regretted it ever since. I knew you were right, but I couldn't admit it to myself or you. So someone was too stubborn to admit that you were right about something, whether right about you guys being together or right about some sort of, you know, trust issue you had with them. Our beliefs were just too different. I couldn't reconcile mine towards yours. So you guys were just having trouble, you know, aligning with each other's beliefs and wants and desires. And someone just abandoned it instead of putting in the work and is bummed out now. So yeah, you, got, you could be connecting with a Gemini, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, um, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be any zodiac sign, all right? So I hope this reading helps. I love you guys. Please rock that like and subscribe button. Later, Gators.